Hi, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about Google My Business Pages and some easy things we can do to get the most out of our listing and get it shown in the local search results. Now, most of the things we're going to talk about today also apply to Bing Places, which is Microsoft's version inside the Bing search engine. Now, what is a Google My Business Page? Well, if you've ever done a search in Google and a map showed up in the results, that's what's called a local search result or a map listing. And Google's determined that that search query has a local intent and it shows local businesses in your geographic area. Now, those listings don't actually come from your website. Those listings actually come from your Google My Business page. And it's a free product from Google and it's for local businesses to help increase their web presence online regardless if they have a website or not. Now, over the years, local search has really come on strong and it plays a big part in the overall Google strategy and search results. And they put a lot of emphasis on local search these days, which makes that page so much more important. So today we're just gonna go over some basics to make sure you get the most out of your listing. Now, the first thing you wanna do with your listing is you wanna make sure it's accurate. So you wanna make sure that you know, your business name, your phone number, things like that, all of those things are accurate and they match the information on your website. So take the time, double, triple check when you do your listing and make sure the information's correct. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's complete. Now, inside the Google My Places console, they're always adding new features, new abilities to add more information different sections, you can add more photos, things like that. So whenever you're inside the console, the admin console, look to see if there's areas where you don't have information, you don't have images, you don't have stuff that can be filled out because having a complete listing does play a role in how it's gonna show up in the local search results. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a consistent NAP. Now your NAP is your name, address, and phone number. And those are kind of unique identifiers for the search engines. And they match, they'll take your NAP and they'll match it across the web from directories, your website, Google, things like that. And that's where they pull all this information about your business, about your website, and they make a determination of its credibility. They look at customer views, things like that. And your NAP is the identifier that they use to try to pull all this information together. So make sure you're in your nap your name address and phone number is consistent inside your google my business page as well as on your website and any other directories or customer review sites that you're on like yelp foursquare angie's list things like that make sure that you have the same information across all of these web properties the next thing you want to do is reviews reviews are super important and your google my business page offers your customers a chance to leave a review for your business now Bing Places does not offer that. They pull information from third-party sites like uh, Yelp in there. But inside of Google, you want to try to get reviews for your business. So encourage customer, you know, if you do a good job for a customer, encourage them to leave a review because as you get more reviews, your Google My Business page will start to come up in the rankings. And as of today, once you go over five uh, customer reviews, you'll get what's called the five-star listing. And that's where you see those gold stars underneath uh, the listing results for certain businesses. So reviews are super important. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure, make sure your categories that you choose are relevant. And they'll give you an opportunity when you're creating your listing to choose different categories on there. Make sure that they are the most uh, relevant to your business because they use those categories to place your business according to what people are searching for. And if you're in there and you can't, you can't find a category that quite matches you, what you can do is search for, search like a customer, search for, you know, as if you were searching for your business, look at what some of your competitors are doing, some of your top competitors, and take a look and see what categories they're using. Most of the time when you look at your category choices, you'll be able to find something uh, either very relevant or very close close to it, but make sure you take the time. You don't just pick any category. You pick something that's as close to your business as possible. 
The next tip is we want to make sure, if possible, that you're using the same Google account across all your Google properties. So when you have your Google My Business page, if you're doing uh, pay-per-click in Google AdWords or uh, using Google Analytics on your website, things like that, it really helps to use the same Google account if possible because it helps streamline the process and it helps Google to easily pull information from different sources from your website analytics, things like that, from your AdWords campaigns and pull it all together and it makes a nice streamlined process and it helps Google understand and get all of that accurate information for your business. So if you want to find out more information, uh, this isn't really a tutorial on how to set up the page. It's pretty self-explanatory when you go to google.com slash business or bingplaces.com. It's a simple setup, just follow the directions. The key is follow this stuff, make sure it's accurate, make sure it's complete, make sure you're consistent, your business name's information, your name, address, and phone number is consistent across all, all of these properties. You're starting to get customer reviews, you're in the right category, and if possible, use the same Google, Google account across all of your Google services. And that will give you the foundation to get the most out of your Google Google My Business page, and it'll get you on the right path to getting some good rankings. Okay, hope you learned a lot here. If you have any questions, things like that, you can click the link below and come back to our website. Thank you very much.